Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how you can get your nails from this to this beautiful gel manicure at home. So the first thing that you're going to need is nail polish remover or acetone and a cotton ball. You're also going to need a nail file, a cuticle pusher like this one, cuticle trimmers or nippers, this is totally optional, gel primer, the nail polish of your choice of course, and a gel top coat. You're also going to need some rubbing alcohol, your LED or UV lamp, I got this one from Amazon. And the next thing is actually optional which is an e-file, but if you don't have one you can use a regular nail buffer. So our first step today is going to be to remove any old nail polish that you might have. If you have gel polish, I have a video that teaches you how to remove that right over here, I will leave a link. And once you're done cleaning your nails, the next step is going to be to buff them out. I have an e-file, but like I said, it's not necessary. You can use a nail buffer, and this is just going to help later on once you start applying your polish. Once you've buffed out your nails, it is now time to push your cuticles back. As you can see here, I have this nice little tool that always helps me out. And I switch back and forth from the thicker end and the smaller end depending on what I need to do. So you can go ahead and do that to every single one of your nails and then we'll move on to the next step. Now this step is completely optional so you don't have to nip or trim your cuticles but I absolutely love doing this just because I feel like my manicure lasts longer. If you don't feel comfortable doing this you can always just leave them pushed back and moisturize them with either cuticle moisturizer, cuticle oil or coconut oil if you don't have any other oil at home. As you can see I'm being super careful. Make sure that when you are doing this you're taking your time. Definitely don't rush because you might nip yourself. And this is what your nails are going to look like. And this next step, you can either clip your nails if you don't like the length, but if you already are happy with it, you can just file your nails down. I wanted to show you a super important part of this process, which is to round your nails. This is just going to prevent them from breaking or chipping later on. And this is what your nails are going to look like. They're not going to look perfect right away, so you have to go and wash them with some soap and water to get rid of any debris that was left from the filing. As you can see, after washing my hands, I noticed that I have a few spots that I missed, so you can go ahead and file them down if you have them too, like so. The next step is going to be to clean your nails with some alcohol. This is going to help remove any oil or any other product that is on your nails and it's going to help the polish adhere much better. And now your nails should look like this. They are beautiful and ready to be painted. But before we do that, we're going to apply a gel primer, which is super important. It's going to act similar to the alcohol. It's going to dehydrate your nail, and what this is going to do is it's going to help the gel polish stick to your nail and last longer. So you can go ahead and put this on every single one of your nails, and you can cure this for about 45 seconds or depending on what your product asks for. And now on to the fun part which is painting our nails with the color of our choice. If you're wondering why I'm not using a base coat, it's because quite frankly I just ran out. Um, it's not necessary if you're using a light color like this one. One of the primary purposes of a base coat is to protect your nail from staining and also make your nails look thicker. So because I'm not too worried about staining with this color in particular, I'm going to skip that. But if you have it at home, I definitely recommend you use it. As you can see here, I made a little mistake. So you can always fix it with a cuticle pusher just the way I did. The first layer is not going to look perfect either, which is why I'm stressing that you use thin multiple layers. It's going to pay off in the end, I promise you. And once you're ready to cure your manicure, you can go ahead and stick your hands in your LED or UV lamp, whichever one you have. And like I said, it all depends on which brand you're using. It could take 45 seconds to cure, up to two minutes to cure. And this is what the first layer is going to look like. Like I said, it's a little transparent, but the colors will start to pop through once you add in the second and third, maybe even fourth layer. Yeah. 
You can use thicker layers if you want to. Like I said, it's all about personal preference. If you want your nails to look thicker, you can use that. If you want your nails to look a little bit thinner and look a little bit more natural, you can use my technique. After the second and the third layers have been cured, I want to show you what they're going to look like. My nail polish came out like this, and now that I'm satisfied with the thickness of my nails, I'm going to move on to the top coat. This top coat is going to make your nails look super shiny, but more importantly, it's going to protect your gel polish and make it last longer. After you've applied your top coat, you're going to cure your nails a couple of times just to make sure that everything has cured properly. And the last step is going to be to clean your nails with some alcohol. Gel polish tends to have this sticky layer on top of it after you cure it. So this is just going to clean that off. And once you're finished with cleaning them, you're done. And these are the final results. I hope that you enjoyed learning with me today. Let me know in the comments down below which video I should make next. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time.